615, I'm John Aaron. And I'm Michelle Bash. This weekend, we have Emma Stone and Willem Dafoe back together in movie theaters. This is it. The moment of truth. Isn't it wonderful? The trailer doesn't give away much, and I talked about it on Skype. Kinds of Kindness, it's called, with Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World. What the heck is this about? I don't get it. (laughs) You know what, John? That's what a lot of people are saying. I'm still not quite sure. (laughs) But if you know poor things... Uh, that was the film that kind of took over last year. Uh, Emma Stone won Best Actress from Poor Things. Uh, this is essentially, I got to say, because she's teaming up again with director Yorgos Lanthimos. Uh, this is Poor Things on steroids, John. Uh, but it's like three different art house type films in one. It's almost three hours, so get ready. But it's really about bending your understanding on belief. Uh, you find a lot of the funny in the most awkward of moments. Um, but if I say anything in more, it would spoil. It's an experience, John. But the moral of the story, I don't think this is much of a spoiler, but because it's summer, the biggest message you'll get out of it, drink water. Okay. Drink water, John. All right. <laughs> I can do that. I can handle that. Finally, you have a streaming option that is animated and post-apocalyptic. Tell us about Wandla on Apple TV+. Plus. It's uh, about a young teenager who's in this post-apocalyptic bunker. Uh, She then is set free and is now trying to understand her place in the world. Um, Luckily, she has a robot caretaker called Mother, uh, if you will, voiced by the amazing Tara Hatcher. Uh, And uh, uh, Eva is our young teenager voiced by Janine Mason. Uh, It's really just, you know, a teenager trying to find her way in the world. Uh, I would say it's very akin to Star Wars. It's very imaginative. Um, The character design is so good. Uh, A lot of the animation is very Pixar-like. A little bit of DreamWorks in there. And it's a great little series. Uh, There's three books that this series is going to be based upon and we're getting essentially the first book uh, with this season one and uh, from what I understand there should be a season two and three to adapt the other two books in the trilogy Um, but it's a fun ride very imaginative I love the creator design and I have interviews uh, with everybody involved I I spoke with Janine I spoke with Terry I I spoke with Tony uh, I spoke with the showrunner and I think I'll be talking to more of the members because it's a a great project Uh, Apple TV's doing uh, everything they can to put uh, the word out on it and I think uh, you will all be thankful for it because it's a great family series. And you can check out those interviews at YouTube.com at Nerds Rule the World. Coming up a little later on, Kuya will tell us about the newest Quiet Place horror movie and more.